All right, guys, I'm just getting to work. Yes, this Grand Cherokee is still here. Okay, now let's see. This is the one we left in here to so start first thing in the morning. Yeah, as soon as I touch it, the lights come on. The key must be in here. Okay, guys, this is one that they said the complaint is you push the button and it just crook. It doesn't start. And I'm trying to duplicate it. First thing in the morning, first crank. Let's see what happens. Put on the brake. Uh oh. Damn. It is actually doing it, guys. Could it be low battery voltage? That's lit up pretty loud and the bell pretty loud. Let's see. Look at that. Out of nowhere, it just started up. So, that's not a battery, guys. Wait a minute, man. Now it starts. So, it's only after a cold night soak? Holy crap. There you go again. Okay, I needed to keep doing that. I need the problem to be here. I need to scan this thing, guys. All right, hold tight. Let me grab my... One more time. Yes. Problem's still there. That's the best time to catch these problems, guys, when it's actually happening. All right, let me grab my scan, too. We're going to go to the computer. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. I'm at the computer. Now, I see one, two, three, four boxes with yellow in it. Oh, what happens to be the PCM? Nothing in the TCM. ABS, EPS, and this door. Let's go in the uh, all DTCs. Okay, PCMC is a problem with the battery. P058D. Battery monitor module voltage monitoring performance. What in the world do that mean? ABS, lost communication with TCM. Yes, that could be a problem. Electronic, what is this? EPS, uh, system voltage. Okay, these are system voltages. Looks like we might have a problem with the battery guys but like I say after two or three pushes that thing ended up starting now what I do not see is problems inside the wireless control module which will signal a problem with the key okay I do not see any problem or uh, radio the hub the radio frequency module wow okay this one gonna be a test first thing you gotta do guys Again, you want to wonder why should you check the battery if after about three or four pushes, the car ends up starting. So I don't know. I will check the electrical system anyway. At least check the connections. And this battery on this Jeep is under the seat. So, uh, guys, we got some troubleshooting to do. PCM is my main battery monitor module. What in the world? Let's take a look at something. Yes, this is a 3.6. All right, what is they asking me? Let me make this bigger. What is they asking me? Battery monitor module. Voltage monitoring performance. Okay. Intelligent battery sensor? Oh, wow. That very well could be it, guys. But I highly advise you to run the test. And according to this, battery monitor module, yes. Theory of operation, guys. Vehicle that utilizes the smart charging strategies are equipped with a IBS. The smart charging strategy can be used with any combination of the following configuration. Single battery system, dual. Okay, we might have a problem with the uh, possible causes. Uh-oh. That's pretty much the only thing that ever causes. Guys, this could be your problem right here. Whew. This one was worrying me. Because to my understanding, they put a battery in it already. Let's go to the car, guys, and take a look at the battery, all right? Let's do it like that. Because possible cause, only thing that could possibly cause this. <laughs> that's what this means. Only thing that can possibly cause this is intelligent battery sense. Let's go take a look at the physical battery, guys. Let's get it. 
All right, guys, let's, uh, I got the seat all the way up. Let's take a physical look at this deck gun battery. Ah, oh, have mercy, what in the world? Whoa, this is a whole new design. Come on off of here, cover. Take a look. Okay, this has a... Wow, guys, y'all see that? <laughs> Start, stop, set up battery. This is the IBS. Look, man, obviously... Is that add-on? No, oh, obviously the computer sees a problem with this, guys. Uh, remember what we talked about now? That is the only... This is the only cause, that's the only thing that will cause that fault code. And it's connected to the battery, which means it's directly related to the electronics. Okay, starting, charging, the starter charging system. You may have erratic cranking if this is giving you problems, guys. So what do y'all think? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's simple. We got to get this replaced. Uh, I wanted to take a good feel for the connections and... It is tight, my friend. This has an auxiliary battery. Wow, man. They get crazy with this. That is a new Mopar battery, so somebody put a battery in it. All right, guys. We uh, I'm going to write an estimate. Now, the weird thing about this, guys, is uh, there was no check engine light. Y'all noticed that? But let me go check this. Let me go see if it do, do it again as far as the no crunk. crunk. All right, let's get it. See, it's starting every time now. I need a battery. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let's take under the hood and see if I see any other problem. We've got to look these cars over, guys. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys. A three six Pentastar Gen three, guys. And remember, the way you can tell this is a Gen three, there's an EGR cool on here. All right, which makes this Grand Cherokee. A 2016 or higher. That's when they went to the Generation 3 Pentastar. So much better. Everything upgraded. Valve train upgraded. Okay, VVT upgraded. Everything is upgraded. I have yet to enter into a Generation 3 Pentastar engine, guys. All right. So, uh, I'm going to base my estimate on mileage. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the mileage. Probably pull a spark plug out. Look down at him, let the car in the air, see if there's uh, any kind of leaks. I'm gonna check it over, guys. Things you're supposed to do. I'm gonna look, take a peek at the brakes. Ooh, and from that little peek, it needs brakes. But I'm gonna let it up and do it right, guys. So that's all I have, man. Uh, Y'all see where I'm going with this video. I hope you got something out of it, like I always do. All right, guys, so. I finally got my parts. So, you know what that means? There's no need for part two. All right, so. IBS intelligent battery sensor oh, I might be saying that wrong but uh, it's basically the negative battery post it's a fancy name for it because it does more than uh, just act as a battery terminal okay all right this is what's causing our problems uh, based on the fault code and the diagnostic so we have to get it replaced and as you can see it's fairly easy guys so I'm gonna grab my Milwaukee and my 10 millimeter guys remember to gain access to the battery uh, it's under the seat okay so once you get the cover off you merely let's take uh, the cable part off first yes you can see that's fairly easy We'll put this on last because we just disconnect the battery at that point. Remember, guys, the auxiliary battery is also housed right there. So let's. Hey, so glad that was easy. This thing can cause some weird problems and you not even know it. Yes, there is an electrical connector. Once again, it is a semi module. All right. So, uh, yes, they look the same. Let's get this on. Now, what I did, I wind up 
telling them to uh, let me keep it overnight. So the first thing in the morning, we're going to go through the same procedure in the morning, guys, as far as starting it up, see if it'll start. Uh, it's called doing it at the same time it normally happens. So we're going to retest it under the same scenarios that we diagnosed it on. And that was uh, first thing in the morning cold, guys. All right. So I'm going to pretty much leave this sitting right here. Depending on how early I get here in the morning, we're going to fire it up in the morning, guys. All right. But for now, that's all I have, guys. Uh, rest of this, I'm pretty much done. Okay. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.